Today I'm going to show you how you can make a landmark map in augmented reality. So we need two apps for this, Keynote and AR Maker. Let's dive right in. So I'm in Keynote. I'm going to create a new presentation. I'm just going to choose a regular uh, black background. Get rid of these text boxes because we're not going to need them. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize my frame. So right now, uh, it's not in proportion to the frame that I'm going to receive in AR Maker. So I have to make th those two match. So to do that, go up to the three dots in the top right, down to Document Setup, and then at the bottom, Slide Size. And we are going to choose a square size. And that's going to put us in line with the Art AR Maker frame that we're going to be receiving. Now, before I create my assets, there's something else I need to do on this slide. I need to go up to the paintbrush. So I have this background selected, paintbrush, and then for the background, I need to select no fill. This is very important um, because basically I don't want any like black boxy stuff to appear um, in, my, in my augmented reality. So we need to do that on each slide actually before we begin. So in Keynote, basically what we're doing is we are making our digital assets. So those are what we're gonna be seeing uh, interacting with the real world in the AR Maker app. On the first slide, I'm going to create my map. And prior to this video, I went online and I actually took a map of England that I'm going to use. So for your map, kind of the expectations are this is the only thing that you can actually take offline. Everything else you're going to have to create. So you can see some of the map is, is kind of off that square frame. That is totally fine. Whatever is off that square frame is just going to get cut off. And essentially, we just want the map um, here in the center. So that all looks good. So I'm going to go ahead in the bottom left and create a new slide. We're just going to choose a solid back, black background. And of course, we want to go up to our paintbrush before we start making anything. And we want to do no fill so that we can eliminate that background. So now I'm going to make my second asset, which is a landmark from England. And I'm choosing to make Big Ben, the famous clock tower. And, you know, it might scare some people, you know, having to draw this, but you've been doing this since elementary school. Basically, we're going to be tracing, or what I'm going to show you, we're going to be tracing. So prior to this video, I went online and I got a picture of Big Ben. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over this picture and kind of make it my own. Um, before I bring out my, my crayon, tap on the screen, bring out my drawing tools, I do want to select that photo. Uh, go up here to the paintbrush and then go here to opacity and turn that down to, you know, maybe just below 40%. That's going to allow me to see not only the picture, but also what I am drawing. So that's very important. Now I get out my Logitech crayon, turn it on, tap on the screen, and you have any number of drawing tools down here at your disposal. I'm going to demonstrate using this little known tool, which is the, the paint fill tool, which I think is actually really handy for, for tracing. And so I'm gonna select that and get a close color to like the main part of Big Ben here, which is like a, a brownish type color. Okay, so the key to using this fill tool is I wanna get my lines as straight as I can and I want to kind of trace this all in one fell swoop. Um, so I don't want to lift the crayon as I'm tracing. Now, one thing to keep in mind with drawing is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You also do not need to put every single little detail in here. Um, it's kind of expected with drawings too that artists will kind of take liberty with things maybe add certain things, leave things out. So you can see Big Ben gets rather detailed. There's all those columns on it, and I'm actually not gonna draw any of those. So that was kind of a quick trace. You can see like my lines aren't perfectly straight. That is okay, especially for the purpose of this demonstration. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it kind of adds like a cart, it's gonna add a, a cartoony effect to it. Let's get this piece here since that's the same color. Okay, and now the other two remaining pieces that are the same color, that's like a, a bluish 
slate color. We'll choose that. Okay, so I have kind of a, a, a rough silhouette here of Big Ben. Now, I don't want to leave here. You know, I, I want to add, I don't have to get super detailed, but I do want to add a couple of details on it. For instance, the clock itself. So what we're going to do is go, I have um, my drawing selected, go to that paintbrush and then to opacity. And again, just like I did with the picture, I'm going to turn that down to a little under 40%. And I'm just going to add a couple finishing details. I'm not going to go too crazy here. Get my full, uh, fill tool. Let's add the clock. I'm going to take a little artistic liberty, and I'm just going to make the main part of this clock white. All right, just like that. And this time, rather than my fill tool, I'm actually going to grab my marker, and let's make that hour and minute hands. And I can actually select, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that thickness of marker. All right, there's my minute hand. Now my hour hand, I can kind of make some of these ticks. That might be a, a nice feature. Okay, and one other thing I'm going to add, you know, I can go really crazy and I can try to make all these columns. But I tell you what, I'm going to kind of demonstrate how I'm going to use the eraser tool because near the top there's some kind of nice arches that maybe I want to, to come out. So I'm going to um, select this eraser. I'm just going to go with the finest eraser that's there and kind of just erase out some of these arches. I think that'll just be a nice touch. After this I'll be I'll be done. Okay, so let's hit done. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to turn the opacity back to all the way up. Okay, and then one thing you can do when, when you're done is go ahead and delete out um, the image in the background. So here we go. I mean, for just a couple minutes, not too bad. I mean, it could be better. Um, final thing I'm going to do here in Keynote is I'm going to take that image, center it, and then place it at the bottom of the frame like so okay um, that's going to be very important because it's going to be standing up on the map so it needs to be kind of centered on the bottom all right so at this point you know you can keep on drawing any other landmarks any other assets that you need let's say I'm done here I need to export so I'm going to go back up to those three dots here export and one of my options is to export as images a couple things to point out in this case, I want all the slides, so all two of them. PNG is fine. And then transparent backgrounds, make sure that is turned on. We do want transparent backgrounds. And go ahead and export. And then save the two images. And now those two assets are in my camera roll, and they don't have uh, background. So I'm ready right now to bring out the next app, which is AR Maker. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Let me just reset the scene here. All right. So it needs a flat surface or floor or a table. So you can see it's detecting my floor right now. And if I tap on that plane, I can select new. I'm going to go over, make sure you have the flat plane here and then go over and from the folder, I can select my map. I'm going to do the map first, then the check mark. And let's place this map. All right, so right now, a little bit of a problem. So that map is standing up. I want that map to lay flat because I want my landmarks to be on top of the map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stand up here and you can't see my hand, but I'm gonna take one index finger and I'm just gonna swipe bottom to top. And just like that, it's gonna lay my map flat on the floor and I can use two fingers, pinch it, and resize it. And when I'm happy, I can press the place button over here on the right-hand side. So we'll place that, and now that map is locked into space, into place, sorry. 
our next step is I need to grab Big Ben and place Big Ben on London because that's where Big Ben lives. All right, so we're gonna go back to new, to my folder. I'm gonna grab my rushed image of Big Ben, hit the check mark, and let's place Big Ben here. So you can see a little bit of a problem, right? So it's basically with Big Ben, it's taking the last settings from the map and it's laying Big Ben flat. But we want Big, Bra Big Ben to be sitting upright. So what we're gonna do is, again, take my one index finger, this time slide top to bottom. All right, and now we got Big Ben standing up as he should be. And I can pinch to resize like that. All right, one thing uh, real quickly worth pointing out, you can see I'm just moving my iPad and right now I'm moving Big Ben on the what's called the XY plane or the XY axis. So up and down, side to side. Now, on the right hand side, there's these up and down arrows. If I click on that, that's gonna move Big Ben on the Z axis. So if you accidentally tap this and move your iPad, you can see you'll lift your assets up into the air, which for this project, you don't wanna do. Now, there might be other projects where you do wanna use that, not here. So I'm just gonna go ahead, sit Big Ben back down and tap that button. And let's place Big Ben where he belongs on London and press place. And now I have all my assets where they should be. Not done yet though, one more thing left to do. I'm gonna go over to this arrow because all of you have done some research and you've also written a script. So at this point, I have a camera icon as well as a video camera icon over here on the right hand side. So at this point, what I would wanna do is tap on the video recorder and then go ahead and uh, speak and narrate my script, um, basically stating all the facts and history that I researched about Big Ben. All right. So that concludes everything. Go and have fun.